what's up my name is Nay. if you're new thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today's video I wanted to share with you guys where I spend the majority of my time and that is my desk this is going to be a desk tour I'm going to share with you guys where I got my desk some of the stuff inside my desk how I plan the decor all of that fun stuff so let's go ahead and jump into the tour so here is the overview of my desk I put it right next to my window because I like to have an open space when I'm at my office just because we tend to be on our computers all the time and having a chance to look outside while I'm inside is always a plus so I love having an open window next to my desk. Because I spend the majority of my time here I want to also have a view outside not just of a wall. Putting it in front of a window is a really really great way to enjoy the space that you work in. So everything that I mention here will be linked down below if you guys want to check out some of the stuff that I have on my desk. Let's go ahead and jump into the decor. So the actual desk itself I got from Ikea. There's a little built up up piece that is separate from the actual desk that I also got from Ikea. I will leave it linked down below if you guys want. I just think it's really nice to have the computer up on the top so that you're not hunched over so much when you're on the computer. As for my chair, I got this from Office Depot. I'll leave it linked down below again. I just think it's a really great desk chair. I really love this desk chair and I think it's really nice. I really think it looks really good with the white desk. So over here to the left I have my clock. My dad actually got this from Amazon two Christmases ago so I'll see if I can find it if not I'll just link something similar honestly I don't even check this clock I usually just check it on my phone so something I want to mention real quick is I actually put up some wallpaper and this is just peel and stick wallpaper it gives it just like a pop of color again I'll leave it linked down below I think it's in the color to beaten cloth if I'm not mistaken I just love the gray and it looks like it's woven but it's actually just peel and stick wallpaper. It's not that expensive compared to wallpaper and it makes a really nice standout wall. Starting over here to the left, I just have a candle from Bath and Body Works. I always just throw in a seasonal candle and I have this little plant that I got at a local plant shop. I'm pretty sure it's an aloe vera plant. And then I have this Girl Boss name tag that I got from TJ Maxx and having this girl boss tag just reminds me every day of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So up here on the wall I have these two mirror art pieces. I got these from Kirkland's a while back. I really highly doubt that they still have them but Kirkland's is a really great inexpensive place to buy decor pieces. I'll leave the website down below and I actually got these for $20 each. Actually, I think they were on sale for like $15 each, which is not bad. And having a mirror piece kind of makes the illusion that you're not just looking at a wall. It kind of makes the space a little bit bigger. And yeah, I love having mirrors around. So moving on over here to the right, I have my pink Himalayan sea salt lamp. And this is a real sea salt lamp. It literally leaks water because the humidity here in Florida. So I leave a paper towel underneath it so that it doesn't leak on my desk, but I just really love this piece and it gives really good vibes and there's lots of benefits from having a sea salt lamp. And it's definitely one of my favorite pieces that I have and throwing it on my office just gives it a nice ambiance and glow. So next to it, I just have my plant. I got this from Trader Joe's. I have no idea what plant it is. I think they call it a money tree or a money plant. It's some Asian plant and I just really love it. Having a real plants on your desk again give better energy flow and helps with breath and lots of different benefits that come with plants so I think having plants on your office space is a really great not only decor but for your health as well. And then right next to it I just have this coaster. My mom got it for me from Pier 1 so that's just my right side. So as for the middle piece of my desk I put in these books. These are some of my favorite prettier books that I have. I just love seeing motivational women and getting inspired by these books. These are really positive books and they're just really nice decor pieces and I love having books for decor. So those are the books that I have. And then on the top here I just have my laptop. This is a Mac Air. And yes, I have a post-it note on my webcam camera just because I'm super paranoid like that. A lot of you guys mentioned that. Comment down below if you guys do this too or are you guys just like not paranoid and leave your webcam wide open. I don't know. I'm just afraid of everything that I've read about that stuff. I feel like people can hack into it and like watch me, which is so creepy, but yeah. So for Christmas, my mom got me this keypad like cover. 
Um, it's just a marble piece and I really like it and I'm pretty sure she got it from Urban Outfitters. So now going back over to the right, we're going to go through this drawer. Um, not much to <laughs> look at, but this is actually my boyfriend's iPad. It looks like a vintage book. I love the cover of this. I can see if he still has a link to it and link it down below. So you can actually also prop up the iPad with this holder, which is pretty cool. I remember when he first got this, I was like absolutely in love with it, but look, yeah, it's really cool and really dirty, so <laughs> let's put that away. I just think that's a really, really cute cover, and if someone comes in your house and tries to steal your iPad, they'll think it's a book, so that's also a plus. So moving back over again to the left, nothing is in this drawer. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing. And down here in this drawer... This is kind of like my stationary drawer. So if you guys know or watch my vlogs, you'll know that I do a daily mantra every night and I journal to it. So this is just the journal that I've been journaling in with my daily mantras. This is the daily mantra book. I've literally mentioned this in the past like five videos and I'm not sponsoring this, I swear to God, but it's just really, really great way to start your morning or end your day and it's really motivational and I love it. And then I just have a little notepad here where I plan all of my videos. And this is the planner that I'm currently using. It's just the 2018 at a glance planner and it's in the Agate, Agate, I don't know the crystal name, but there's a crystal, A-G-A-T-E, and that's the design that it's in. So I've been pretty good at using my planner this year. I love how it just starts on the first day of the year rather than like halfway through the year. Yeah, so that's my planner. And then over here to the left of the drawer, I have my Q&A, document your life if you're not really into journaling. So basically it goes through the year and it's a five year journal and it asks you a question a day and you just answer it like, what's been on your mind lately? Or what did you eat for breakfast? It'll say 2000 blank and you just write in the year that it's in and then you answer it and then every year you can go back onto that day and kind of look back at what you were thinking or what was on your mind that day a couple years ago. I don't know, it's really cool. I've been trying to keep up with it. I'm really good in the beginning of the year, but then I kind of fall off. I don't know, it's just a fun way to journal. This is a the same journal as this. My mom got this journal for me. I've been attempting bullet journaling in a recipe kind of way, so I've been writing all of my recipes in this journal, and I just think it's a really fun, creative way to express myself. And over here to the left, I just have some envelopes, some random notes, a stapler, and some index cards. I love using these, I use these all the time. Um, I have a hair clip as well as my fireplace remote in case I want to get extra cozy. So that's my left drawer. On to my right drawer. This is a more fun drawer, if you can't tell by all the colors. So over here to the right I have some post-its. These are just like little are post-its for Renee. Um, I got these quite a while ago. I have some markers, a little notepad that my mom got me for Christmas. I have fun stuff like Sudoku, um, notes from the universe coloring book, another coloring book, as well as some colored pencils. So that's like my little fun side. I have a lighter for my candles as well as tape. All the random stuff. I got this holder. It's actually a spoon holder and it didn't fit in my drawer in my kitchen so I ended up just using it for organizing all of my stationary things like scissors. I have white out, tons of pens and pencils and I have like my colored markers over here like sharpies, pens, highlighters, anything color related. Some more little post-it notes. Paper clips, I have a hair tie and rubber bands over there. These little circles for your binders. When I was in college, I used to have a ton of binders and all my papers would like break off and it was just so not pleasing and I hated it. So I bought these and I ended up never using them. So I don't know, I feel like I'll have a, a purpose for these later on, so yeah. I also have some rulers and some lotion from Bath and Body Works. Up here I have some more staples, a hole puncher, some little discs that I leave all my pictures in, and yeah, that's pretty much that drawer.
And then down here to the bottom, not that exciting, but this is all of my camera gear. I have this world map. When I get a house, I wanna use this world map and put thumbtacks everywhere I've traveled to. This is a GoPro stick that my brother got for me. I have my Polaroid camera that I've never used before. I really need to start using that. Um, a ton of just random little knickknacks and this. I actually got this for free at a modeling gig couple years ago it's a beach bag but I put all of my camera stuff like lens like caps I'll put in like the tripod holder just like little things that are just not cute to have floating around here I have my microphone the microphone that I use is the blue ice or something like that I don't know what it's called I have my GoPro what else do I have in here more random stuff down there pretty boring not that not that fun this is the lens that I used to have on my vlog camera. Comment down below if you watched that vlog where my camera literally fell. But if you guys can see, it's like dented. Like, I'm trying to sell it for parts because it was kind of expensive. So yeah, that's my broken lens. So last but not least, my favorite part. I was given this from Mike Dooley, who is part of the Daily Universal emails. They actually found my video where I mentioned them and they sent me a whole care package and this was one of the things that they sent me. A little rock that says thoughts become things. So I leave it right here by my window just so if I'm ever getting caught up in my thoughts or something, I just have that daily reminder of the law of attraction and all the beauty of the law of attraction. This is my view over here to the right. It's just a palm tree, beautiful sun. And yeah, that's just my little courtyard. It has a little fountain over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a fountain right there. And sometimes I'll open this door and listen to the beautiful fountain. Life is all what you make it. If you're working at your desk all day, make it fun and enjoyable. Throw in some plants, candles, put it in front of a window, open the blinds, open the door. I don't know. I just love my desk area and I do spend a lot of my time here. That is all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of tours you guys want to see, what other kind of videos you want to see, and I will see you guys all in another video soon. Bye, guys.